Welcome to Good Things. It is Sunday, May the 20th, and we finally have some sun outside. Oh my gosh, praise <gasps> the Lord. Yay. The it rain has... is gone. The How many sun days? is out. We had like... I called it bipolar weather because it doesn't know what season it wants to be, and I'm like, just pick one and stick to it. It was like 10 days worth of rain. Oh, it felt like 73 days. Yeah, I we was, was going back so to the Old much. Testament. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the ark? And do I have a seat? Right. <laughs> yeah, I need to. <laughs> I need to get on there. Well, welcome everybody to Good Things. We are happy to be here. You just have the two of us here today, as you can see. It is Kenosha and Britt. Um, Leia is out today, and uh, but she's out doing some really fun stuff and getting uh, everything done and representing D.C. Absolutely. So, yeah. And we're having cocktails for you, boo. Yeah. And as we promised, we're just trying to bring a little sunshine. So we have a little bit of a beach theme going on because we are so ready for summer. Yeah, we needed it. I'm we're ready. Trying to like will the season. Yeah. I figure here. if we make it on the inside, maybe it'll Be like stay that, that way on the outside. And then look at today. Yeah. So, you know. Y'all are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just trying to bring some sunlight and some good spirit and good vibes, as always, as we do here on Good Things. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you guys are having a great start to your week and a beautiful Sunday and um, that you guys are ready to tackle the week. So that's hopefully what we're going to do today. Okay. Yeah. How's your week been? It's been a lot. Yeah. My week has been a lot. <laughs> well, you were out of town. Out of town, back in back town. Back in town. Of course, you know, every weekend basketball consumes yes. my life. And my, your sister's getting married soon. My sister's getting married. Yes. My other sister's having a birthday. Oh. It's a lot. Yeah. And now, both of your sisters are, are they both in Richmond? One's in Glen Burnie and okay. then the other one's in Richmond. So the one's getting married. We're going down to Richmond right. to celebrate her. And then my sister who lives in Maryland, her birthday is on Thursday. Aww. And she turns the big 3 -0. Ooh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Morgie It's not that Moore. bad. It's, it's good. It's a good, it's a good place she, oh, to she's be. Oh, she's ready. She's, she's ready. Okay, good. an adult since she was, we used to call her the little <laughs> old lady from Pasadena when yes. she was younger. Yes, yes. Because she's always had like an old soul and very she's nurturing. She's like my brother. My brother's nickname is Man because when he came out, he did not cry. He just looked really? around and was like, all right, I'm here. Now what? I'm a little man. Yeah. So that has always been his name. He's always kind of had an old soul too. So I yep. think there's always like one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In, in between. But yeah, it's been a long week. I think I'm recovering. Um, Genesis had her senior prom. She looked, oh my <sighs> gosh, so beautiful. She looked like a tiny Kenosha. <laughs> <laughs> when I say tiny, I just mean, well, you guys are both short. But she just is like tiny. A, she a is younger tiny. Kenosha. Yeah, she, her and her friends, they, um, I really love them because they really know how to kind of embody, like, just the moment yep. and having fun. They and looked like they were having a blast. They were. They had a blast. They had a blast, like, hours beforehand. They just all get together, get ready um, together. And, um, you know, they just... They go to a smaller school, and so it's not like this huge kind of prom thing. Actually, all of the students in the upper school, which is basically the high school, are mm -hmm. invited to prom. Not all come just because, especially like the freshmen and things like that, sometimes they just don't feel like it's their place to be. Some do, which is great, and they come to celebrate together. But the fun, I guess, the, the thing that I think is the most fun is the school always puts together what's called an after prom. And it's held at the school. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the prom is usually held someplace else okay. um, that's usually either sponsored by um, a family, uh, a parent, or something like that. And then the school always puts together uh, via the PTO um, or the end the after prom committee an after prom. So it's kind of like a lock-in. And directly after prom, and they provide a shuttle from the prom to the after prom for the kids. Kids, okay. So nobody has to worry about transportation. Right. And it's like from pretty much like 11 p.m., 11.30 till 5 a.m. in the morning. And they have till every five in the morning. Yeah. So they can just, you know, they have inflatables going on. They have activities. The um, athletic director did set up an escape room within the school. Oh, that's cool. So they had escape room. Nice. Um, they did a Marvel theme. So they showed Black Panther. They showed uh, Civil War. They did all of that you on know, like big screen. I almost wore a Spider-Man dress today. <laughs> 
<laughs> we didn't dress alike on purpose. I was just rummaging through my closet, but I was almost Marvel. See, well, today. see, and that's so I, it, it, you know, it just really allows them to be like still have that little bit of like just being a kid. They're you still know? kids. They're still kids. And that's funny because you were um, you made that comment too. I did. Yeah. Well, we had a segment at one point where we were looking at because it was a prom season was approaching. Oh, yes. And sometimes it was a good thing, not a good thing segment. Yeah. yeah. And but especially these days, there are. You have a lot of children that don't look like children, yes. don't behave like children. So when she sent the picture of Jen and all of her girlfriends, I would show you guys, prom, but they would kill me, so I won't do that. I literally was like, <laughs> they look, they look beautiful, yes. but they look like kids. Yeah, appropriate. And they're they look age appropriate, and they're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. So I love that she surrounds herself with young ladies yeah. that like are just like yeah, are that are like, like her. her yeah, they're, yeah, they're still kids. And you know, and I think I don't know if it's it's. It's becoming more of a trend or not. I know that in the back of my mind, even even now, I'm in my 40s, and when I'm dressing about you don't need to tell people that because they can't look at you and it's okay. But I want people to understand that, like, I still like in the back of my mind, you know, I hear my mom, I hear my grandma, and it's just like, should you be wearing that? Mm -hmm. And you know, and I think. I'm glad and I'm grateful that I think some of that has definitely worn off on her as yeah. well. Um, so it's not even a second thought. And, yeah. you know, and I'm all for people and, you know, young ladies expressing themselves and Absolutely. doing what they want and wearing what they want. However, don't I... Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. You have so much time to get there. Trust us. When you become <laughs> an adult, you'll be like... Right. What was the rush? Right. Don't rush. back to being a kid. Why you don't need to wear Spanx? Don't. Right. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> I'm like, I, you know, I, I wish I remember those days mm -hmm. where it was like, what's a Spanx? Yeah. What's a girdle? I don't know. And we that. were the same way. I think we were in a hurry yeah. to be older. Oh, yeah. And now we understand what being older means. And we just, now everybody wants to go back. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's I'm, all right. I'm going to have a little backwards time when I get home because I was like, Dr. Sill, I need you to <laughs> rewind the clock a little bit and fix fix a couple of things. So. My husband keeps texting Dr. Like anytime I have an issue with anything, he's like, he acts like he's listening, but really he's like texting your husband yeah. like, oh, hey, Britt yeah. has this going on, Britt has that going on. <laughs> so funny. It's all right. They can't help it. Best friend time, best friend time. BFF. Yeah. Well, we have a, a lot of things that we want to share with you today, and we're going to really kind of hopefully get you ready for the summer um, and, as always, get you motivated and give you some good tips, as always, is what we try to do here on Good Things to uh, help you do your best and live your best and, uh, and be best and be best. And, you know, cause it, it's important and not just for you, but also for your family and your kids. So, um, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about the kids and we're going to talk about making sure that you are doing what needs to be done to inspire the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, it's necessary. And I think sometimes as parents, we forget that they're just little things that sometimes they need to hear that help and they are always listening yeah all the time so more good things we we come back we'll be right back
Welcome back to Good Things. Again, it is Sunday, May 20th. The sun is shining. Yeah, we got palm trees. We're at the beach. Not really, but we're going to pretend that we are. feel like we're at the beach. Cheers. We're at WLVS Radio and the Listen Vision Live Recording Studios in D.C. However, we made it feel like the beach because we bring the sunshine. We ready. Yeah, we ready for that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So let's talk about the kitties, right? Yeah. It's important. Yeah, it is important. So we're going to talk about 10 phrases that keep children from feeling Ooh. left out. And I think in the environment that kids are growing up yeah. in, this is probably a pretty important conversation. Well, and it's probably important that it comes from home. Absolutely. And so that they're equipped to deal with the things that unfortunately they are having to deal with now. Right. We didn't have to. Out in the world. Out in the world today. And you know what? Before we start, since we're talking about kids, um, you know, I definitely want to acknowledge and, you know, give our sincerest prayers and condolences oh. to um the families and the victims um, in Texas and the latest school shootings, which I'm so tired of talking about. Um, and I think somebody posted, we're in the 23rd week or 22nd week of the year, and yeah. this is the 22nd yeah. school shooting. Yeah. And I know it seems to be like a, just a reoccurring narrative, and I don't want to give it any power because I'm just really tired of it, but, and not to be on any kind of political stance, but you know what? I All I want to say is that if you're tired of it, do something. Yeah. Um, there's many ways to do things and do what you think, you know, needs to be done in ways that you think that you can do it. But we, we need to do something. We yeah. have to advocate for people. Yeah. Period. Period. Just life, human life, all life. But um, And then things come second to people. Yeah. So, yeah. If we're reading but I, between the lines... People come first. Yeah, and I think, you know, what Well, what you're going to talk about um, is, is definitely at the core of that. Yep. You know, because I think that if we start doing this that we're going to talk about. Laying the foundation laying at Laying the foundation home. at home. Then, yep. you know what, then you might have um, a little bit more, uh, I don't know, confidence in well-equipped young people. Yeah, there's definitely a multitude of things that we can do, and we can only do what we can do. So right. the things that we can control, we just have to take control. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to make sure we sent that out from Good Things because it does, it is very heavy on our hearts. And, Devastating. Um, you know, and it's hard, especially when you have, you know, we're balancing because we had such a enormous, historic, wonderful event uh, happening across the pond yeah. yesterday oh with uh, congratulations to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But, um, and it was beautiful and I, in, in every way, not just aesthetically, but yeah. I think also in our, you know, spiritually and uh, just connectively. But at the same time, we do have to realize that as much good and beautiful, you know, uh, prosperity that, that, that showed us yesterday yeah. we still have to deal with some serious not so beautiful issues that yeah. um that are still happening so everybody the, prayers yeah. yeah and the thing on social media is is people i think always feel like you have to choose like mm-hmm. if you're talking about one thing then that means you don't care about another and i think that we need to embrace right when there are positive yeah and good things happening even among mm-hmm. times where there are bad things yeah. happening. I think it's okay no, it is. to take a little moment and appreciate yeah. something as beautiful as you two have, people it's uniting. It's the balance. You have you to have, have to that have balance. balance. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that's the thing. It's like, unfortunately, fortunately and unfortunately, we are in an age, because I think we've talked about this before, where, you know, do we think it's just more things happening that are bad, or we just are more in the know? Is it more visible because of social media yeah. and things like Which that? Which I think it's a combination I of think it is the too. two. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that you have to have that balance. Yep. You've got to, yes, things are going to happen. It doesn't mean you have to be consumed by it. Right. Um, I think you can make a choice about how you deal with it and how you let it kind of infiltrate into your into your life and your psyche and all of that stuff. Yep. Um, but it's good to also celebrate. Because G. Von Chi gave her life, and yes. Stella McCartney gave her more and life, and the celloist, and the and the yes, yes. He, what is he like? Nineteen? Yes, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And the way that Harry looked at her. Oh. If your man don't look at you like that, get a new man. <laughs> <laughs> But we want to, again, as good things, we always want to um, in, in, just just give as much positive and good things yep. into your day and your psyche and your spirit as we possibly can. And sometimes that comes in the form of guides and tips. So here we go. Here we go. 
we embrace good things around here. <laughs> okay, so here are 10 things to say that can keep your child from feeling left out. The first one, and this is probably my most important because yeah. I recognized when I was younger, I went through a period of my life where I, I didn't have it and then I did and I can see a huge the difference, difference in, in the two, the two yeah. and then the, the person that I was and the person that I've become. So I am here to listen. I preach that to mm-hmm. especially my older son because he yeah. is nine now. Um, every single day. I always let him know like there's nothing, nothing that you can't tell mommy. Right. Um, and I always explain to him that, you know, if, if you're feeling bad about something that you've done or if you're feeling like you've made a mistake, the truth is always, always, always better than a lie. And even yes. if you're wrong, you won't be in trouble if you come to me and tell me the truth. But if you lie to me, first of all, I'll always find out because I have eyes in the front and in the back <laughs> and on the sides and on my feet and everywhere. I will find out. Yes. Um, it's and called then you'll mama be in eyes. Trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom tuition. Uh, so I yeah. am here to listen. We just, yeah. we have to let them know that it's okay it's to okay. talk. Yeah. And if it takes them an hour to tell you about their friend Joe at school who like <laughs> brought a truck to school and you were talking, you know, whatever it yeah. is, listen, Just it's important. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's they sometimes, need to be heard. and there's sometimes those little things in the things that they say that give you really big cues. Clues. Yes. yes. Yeah. Them long ass stories. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, but them long ass stories, sometimes they have very yeah. valid, yeah. meaningful information. Yeah. And if you listen You'll be like, ah, oh. mm-hmm. you know, I, I see that he's really trying to, you know, get this out yep. that, you know, or she that, you know what, there's something really that they're not feeling in the classroom. Something wrong with Joe. Right. <laughs> 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 or Josephine, you know, whichever one it is. Yeah. But yeah, they've got an issue. So another one is that I think it's good that to understand from their side that when they're young, it's it's really hard to, um, actually it's funny because I had this kind of mini talk as we walked like from the classroom to the car on Friday with Little Cell that, you know, the talk kind of about friends mm-hmm. and that, you know, it's, it's, it's good to have and to to know lots of people and have friends and that your friends may change because little so was talking about how he said hi to one of his friends and then I said oh that's your friend such and such and he said oh well that was my friend and but now my (laughs) friend is which I mean he's four right so to him in his mind he's like well because I was playing with them on the playground last week they were my friend because I didn't play with them on the playground this week they're not my friend right but um you know all kids want to be friends. Kids, I think, are naturally social beings. Oh, my god! Yes. So a lot of kids would love to be your friend. And that, and you can say that to your kid in different ways because I think sometimes kids wonder, well, do they want to be my friend? Because they don't play with me, so mm-hmm. I don't know if they want to be my mm-hmm. friend. Um, or they're in a different classroom, so I don't know. But, yeah, every kid wants to be your friend. And I think sometimes just giving them that encouragement that they are great and any any other kid or person would be honored to be their friend. Yeah. Yeah, because you're just a great and cool person. Confidence builder. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, let's go somewhere, just you and me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So important to have individual, especially when you're a parent of multiple children. Yes. Because a lot of times the older child will feel as though um, attention has been kind of taken away from yes. them. Yes, yes. And so I think it's important to still give that individual you attention, yeah. still give that one-on-one time and still recognize that sometimes they just want to be with you without yeah. little brother, little sister yeah. and just and be it, with you mom know, and, and that's important too on both ends. But of course we have like the full spectrum, right? So we have the four and a half year old and then the 18 year old. Right. And I remember even when Sol was, was born and Genesis was getting ready to turn 14, I was like, and not that she... <laughs> Not that she is a, a needy child at all. She's so independent. Yeah, she was probably like, thank God. Now all of a sudden they take some attention off of me. Right. But at the same time, I did want to make sure that even when we were like in the thick of it, like, you know, especially his first year of life, that, you know, when she wanted to do something, whether it was go to the mall to go shopping or whatever, which was not very often, mm-hmm. but that we were all in, um, even whether it was with me or whether Syl was like, hey, let's go do this, like, fun, I don't know, you know, 
air skydiving or whatever it was, mm. or drive go karts because that's what she wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and give her that time. And we even do that now. And now that we are really probably hyper focused on Genesis because it is like senior it's an year. Important time for her. Yeah, we've got college set up and things like that. That we have to be very mindful about giving that time to little Silda. Be like, hey, we're not just you know leaving you with grandma, grandpa, or the sitter all the time, all the time. because we've got to take Genesis to this, but that we do do things with you too. So whether it's going to the arcade mm-hmm. or you know just hanging out outside um, on the scooter, yeah, to give that time. And I'll say this: so just like a little piece of advice for second time parents, and this is something that I was so thankful that mm-hmm. I was given this piece of advice is when the new baby is born yeah. and people come to visit and they're so excited yeah. to see the baby, make sure that they greet the older child yes. first. Yes. Because they can feel neglected. That's a really great tip. Yeah. And ignored and invisible right. when it's so much attention on the baby. Yeah. So just be just excited be just as excited. Yeah. To see the older child. Yeah, and that's that's important though, because I think a lot of people kind of forget that, and they just feel like, oh, they know, they know I'm here. Oh, I was telling people, I'm like, if you show up, you, <laughs> you better say something to Jace, Jace first, <laughs> and or then go see Logan. We'll put you out, right? <laughs> but that's that's really really important. Yes, absolutely. So the other thing is that you know, I think sometimes it's it's good to get them to understand that you know even in times when they are by themselves, that just because you're by yourself doesn't mean you have to feel lonely. So being alone doesn't have to be or mean that you feel lonely. So teach them how to enjoy their one-on-one time with themselves. Yes. Um, Give them options on ways to do it. Let them see you do it. I think that's important. Let them see you as a parent doing something by yourself without your spouse, without your friends, without, you know, a sibling or parent or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, but having fun doing it. So even if it's at home that you're doing an activity, not work. Right. Because I mean, (laughs) <laughs> that's your work that that's different count. right <laughs> but you know whether that you are doing an activity or you're you're reading a book or you're I don't know I like to do the little I call them adult coloring books mm. oh that's fun I love those those actually kind of de-stress me a little bit when I need to calm down and literally I can tell you every single time I'm doing that if Syl is there he will say well I want to color too and so it kind of becomes something where, okay, he sees me doing something on my own mm-hmm. that, you know, he can also entertain himself. Mm-hmm. And so then they don't get that overwhelming feeling sometimes that I'm by myself. Because yeah. being by yourself isn't always bad. It doesn't right. mean that you're lonely. And you have to learn how to be okay with yourself. I think there are a lot of adults that didn't learn as children how to be alone. So then yes. they constantly seek attention and validation. The wrong attention and the wrong validation. The wrong way from other people <laughs> because when they are alone, they don't even know how, like, no, what, what do, do I do, do when I'm by myself? Yeah, yeah. You and got to figure that out, man. Yeah. Right, because you're going to have a lot of years of doing that right. probably. And yeah, it's important. And I think it's equally important for males and females, but I think females really... It's especially important. Yeah, sometimes kind of um, get the bad end of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it just, you know, you learn who you are, what you like, and then you can be that much more of yourself yeah. around other yeah. people. Yeah, it's important. Again, confidence builders. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I love this one. Kids have different personalities. Yes. And that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Again, I have two kids. Within they your household. They are different. Yeah. So especially outside the household, you know, you have to, we have to teach our children uh, to be tolerant of differences yes. and to not walk around this earth with the expectation that people are supposed to be the way that they are. Right. People are supposed to react the way that I react to things or like what I like or appreciate what I appreciate. Yes. It, people are different and they that's are. okay. They are. And the thing is, is that a lot of times, unless a, a child goes into a, um, a social environment like preschool or daycare and things like that, um, if they don't do that early on, and especially if they don't have any siblings at home. I mean, Genesis was an only child for the longest time. Yeah. And, um, you know, I worried because I was like, well, I want her to make sure that she understands that there are so many other types of people and they are different. Some people are really outgoing, even though she's quiet. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was something that was so important to me. And so when she did start in a, I guess, like preschool or whatever, um, it was, she, I wanted to teach her that beforehand so that she wouldn't get there and be like, confused ah, yeah. and overwhelmed. Yes. And what's she, wrong her, with her, these people? her very first friend was like one of those that was like, hi, I'm, look, and talk to me and do this with and me. And she was like, like, 
back up. Right. <laughs> Slow down. But she learned, she had learned how to deal with that. So yeah. it wasn't so, you know, That's startling important. to her, but you can do that from home. Absolutely. And it's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Having those conversations. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think right along with that, you know, the, it's important to teach, you know, that people are not only different personalities, but if they are different, we talk, you know, you, you, you said tolerance, mm-hmm. um, and that, but everyone has a special quality and there's something special about being different. Yeah. Um, because I think that although we have increased the, um, I guess the, the, the learning and the teachings about inclusiveness yep. and, uh, tolerance of others it's still something that I truly believe that if we start with that at the beginning, not once you're in elementary, because you have to teach them because there's someone different than them right. in, their, in their same space. Right. But teach that, hey, guess what? Mom's different than dad. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have a sibling, you're different than them. Mm-hmm. You may grow up and do something different and like different things. You may be taller than the than your sibling. Um, you may be, you know, and I think it's important to highlight those things um, because if you highlight them at home, yep. then it doesn't seem so off-putting when they get to a place where they do have to notice someone different yeah and whether it be aesthetically or maybe they have a different type of home life yeah. or they just or they learn differently yeah, or they have a different accent yes. or they have different talents um you know i there's so much i think i don't know if it's again more bullying yeah. now or if it's just more visible yeah we have to raise people who believe it is okay to be different, to do different things, to speak different, yes. to look different. To- we have to raise, we have to raise a community. Yeah. So you're raising your child, but that child, hopefully if you're successful as a parent, which to me means that you have raised a child that can function right in the community and, and in the world and contribute yeah. and be fluid enough to do that based upon what their world is when they get there. Yeah. Because that's going to change. It's going to change every day. It's changes every hour. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you equip them, then they're going to be versatile enough to, to be able to do that on their own. And I think another part of that message is, like, we're all a part of something bigger, regardless of what you believe in terms of, like, religion. Yes. It's not all about you. No. It's not all about your kid. <laughs> Sorry. I know you love your kid. I love my kid. I'm not teaching my children Pop that. Bubble. Yeah. The yes. world revolves around them because it right. don't. And that's just a recipe for disaster. Yes. So we kind of have to keep them very grounded and very much aware of like, we're all a part of a bigger community, yeah. a bigger picture. No, that's that's true. Yep. Well, we're going to give you one more and then we're going to transition because we're also going to get to a couple of other things that we definitely want to share with you. But I think that, you know what, this last one is probably... One of the most important, and I think it tags along with the very first one, which is being there to listen. Yep. I think every kid needs to hear this last one. I'm always here for you. So important. Yep. So Period. important. Period. Really doesn't need a whole bunch of explanation, yep. right? I'm always here for you. Yeah. No matter what. Doesn't no matter, matter if you are two months, two years, 12, 20, doesn't matter. 72. <laughs> if I'm here... I'm here, here for, for you. you. And I'm probably here for you even when I'm not here. Yep. So, yeah. So keep these in mind. We'll list all of these on um, on our website as well as on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And you know what? We hope that you take some of these and just, you know, adapt them to your own children, your own home life and yep. lifestyle. But, you know. Start those conversations. Yeah, start them now. And they're never too little to hear these encouraging things, even if they don't talk yet, right? <laughs> you know, put it in them beforehand. They absorb. They absorb. Yep. You know, think about how much we tell our children, I love you. We start telling them that from the day they're here. Yep. They don't know what you're saying, but they, they understand it. it and they feel it. And so by the time they get to that place of being able to reciprocate it, yep. they understand. Yep. Yeah. So don't forget to do that. We'll be right back with more good things.
Do you hear Yanny? Laurel. Laurel. Or Laurel. Laurel. Hey everybody, welcome back to Good Things. So, you know, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tip because I do think as we go into the summertime, um, we are gonna start traveling more. People yep. travel on the highway and, you know, they're going to different places. Memorial weekend is coming up, yep. 4th of July, and you have a lot of these back-to-back -back things. Not summer to mention, vacations. yeah, just summer vacation, right? And just regular day-to-day -day travel. So, here's a little tip. Um, whether you guys know this or not, you can download a special app to your phone, whether you have iPhone or Android, that is a special feature for when you're driving. Everybody has a DND &D or do not disturb on your phone for just general calls, but there's a special app that you can download that actually tells people, do not disturb, I'm driving. Yeah. So you don't have to spend the time to, if somebody's texting you or calling you and you don't wanna talk through like your Bluetooth in your car, if you have that, it will automatically send the message that I can't reply right now or whatever they're trying to yep. do. If it's text, it'll say reply. If it's phone, it'll say, you know, on the phone, do not disturb while driving. Yep. And you can get it on iPhone or Android. So the picture ju that just came up, um, you can turn that feature on on your iPhone. Yes. It actually comes already um, on, on the newer yeah. um Oh, what do you call it when you have to update? Oh, yeah. So the, the, uh, whatever. <laughs> yes. We are super tech people. We're not tech people, but yeah. When you the have your iOS updates, updates. It, there, your updates, it's automatically there. Yes. And, um, I don't know if it's the same thing for Android, but if you go into your, I don't know uh, nothing about no Android. Yeah. So Android is Google, <laughs> but if you go into that, if you're, uh, like your Google play or whatever it is, you can find the app there and just literally write, type in do not disturb driving in yep. a pop-up. Yeah. And most, I think both of these apps are free. Yep. And um, hey, just a little tip to keep you safe. And it's great because before I knew I had it on my phone, my cousin had it on her phone and I would be texting her. And you normally, like if you text somebody and they don't respond, maybe you keep texting, not to badger them, but maybe you have multiple yeah. things to say. Or it's an emergency in a sense. So you're trying to figure out what the best way is to contact them. When I first saw that auto response, I was like, I'm not going to text anything else. I don't want to distract her. Yes. Which was nice. Yes. Because yes. if it hadn't responded, like how would I know that she was Right. Exactly. Driving? And I think that's important because most people, they may not know. Yeah. Um, Mom. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But you know, they don't know. So, you know, you might be, especially here because in driving, like the other day, I was, um, or actually it was yesterday, and when it was like torrential pouring oh rain gosh. outside, and you know, those streets weren't necessarily, or the highway wasn't necessarily clear, and there was a lot of like random kind of traffic, and you know, of course, people not feeling comfortable driving in the weather. 
And so I just wanted to kind of, I was like, okay, I can't, I can't answer you right now. I know she was just more so calling because I didn't want to, I wanted to kind of get past the extra stuff going on, you know, yeah. before I, before I kind of distracted myself. And we all. need to be focused anytime we're driving, but like, that's the last thing you need when there's like yes. rivers in the yes. street. Yes. Yes. For, to be trying to figure out like who's texting me, what is it, is it right. mer- just no phone zone in the car. Yeah, yeah. So this is another way just to um, help you out because, you know, I think we kind of forget that um, sometimes, even though I know I'm not a big technology like junkie, but um, <laughs> but there are little things out there. And so because they're there, hey, let's use them, right? Right. Hey, we might as well. Sharing is caring. It's, <laughs> it's important. So we'll put up um, links to, I think I can put up links to both of the apps yep. on our Facebook on our page. And on, yeah, so that you guys, if you want to go to it and check it out and see what it is so that you can, uh, you can have it because that's very important so you can know. So, but... Moving on, we have a a funny segment. Yes, we have a funny segment. So I like to call this the weekly randomness, (laughs) right? Because I think we have done this a couple of times where there's just been some random things going on during the week Mm -hmm. that is in the news Mm -hmm. or that we read about or on Twitter Mm -hmm. or Facebook. And you know those moments when you see stuff that you're just like, And it just takes over and it blows up. Yes, it becomes viral. Yeah. Yes. And then initially, I know for, for me, when things become viral like that, I'm just like, why is this even... You'll see it, see it, see it, and then you don't understand why you're seeing it. Yes. So what we're getting at is last week, this is what went viral last week. It was an audio clip. Yes. And there were two very distinct, very different words. Yes. And the question was, what do you hear? So this is very similar to the whole thing. I is think it white and gold. Is yeah, it blue the whole and black dress, the dress thing. Yeah. So, but this is with, I guess, your, you know, yeah, your your senses, your your hearing senses in yeah. the audio. And so, I think um, if you if you haven't heard it, and right. you haven't seen it, here we're going to play the play clip for you. you real quick and tell us what you think. Do you hear Yanny? Laurel. Laurel. Or Laurel. 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 A recent Twitter poll found that 47% of people hear Yanny, while 53% hear Laurel. Clearly, this has created an internet argument that is dividing the nation. Do you hear Yanny? <laughs> so, Yanny or Laurel? I know when I first heard it. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't hear Laurel at all. all Even I hear just is, now? No. You heard Yanny? Yes. Are you serious? I'm so serious. I have heard Laurel. You heard Yanny too? <laughs> you heard Yanny too? My husband's special. He heard both. He, yeah. At different there were, times. There were some people who said they heard both. I think people who hear Yanny need to get their hair checked. I hear Laurel loud and clear. No, I see it. At the, no, we have producers. But I'm in the minority time. in the studio. I think I'm the only one that didn't hear Yanny. One more time. Yanny? Laurel. Laurel. Or Laurel. 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 A recent Twitter poll. I feel like people are messing with me. I I feel like everybody in the studio is messing with me because. I said in one word, is this dress blue? Yes. 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 That's what I said. So it's. So what I like about this, being the science person (laughs) that I am. Everybody in the studio right now. Now now I want to dissect it a little bit more. Right. Right. And so I don't know if you guys out there have done this or listened to it other than just right now. Um, It was on the Today Show. It was on a lot of different things. It's on Twitter. Um, You could probably YouTube it anywhere. You could probably... um, you could probably Google it anywhere. If you Google Yanny or Laurel, it's gonna pop. You'll have a ton of see what you think. I do. Pop I up. do believe that there is. So there's. I think there's two things. I do think that um, based upon like where you're hearing it from. Yeah. Um, I think that maybe what's around. However. I don't know. I do think it's still, it, like Jay was saying, I think it's just like the dress thing because. Well, and they didn't they say, didn't one of the videos, like it broke it down, like there it has to do with like the vibration or yes. sound waves, like certain people hear higher pitch sounds, yes. certain people hear lower pitch. Yes. I have listened to that clip probably like 50 times. I've never heard Yanny. Not one time. See, I don't, and I've never heard Laurel. That's not one so time. Crazy. So that's a little funny. Well, here's some other very randomness. random, right? So here <laughs> are some clips that were um, 
they're not really clips. They're, these are some pictures that okay. that you know were like taken or screenshotted from actual like uh, news events or uh, like uh, what do you call it? Like uh, when the news comes on, like CNN and, and SNBC. And I think just some of the headlines might make you go, I don't understand what they were thinking. Oh, so okay. let's see one of them. We just have a couple for you, just for fun. Cats aren't dogs. Really? Hard-hitting reporting from Fox <laughs> this morning. <laughs> and don't, don't think we're beating up on Fox, because we're not, because I've got a multitude of a couple. But it's one of those things that I think if I saw that, I would have been like, what's the, um, there's no, a company not. who all of their commercials <laughs> star Captain Obvious. Yes. Like, cats aren't dogs. We know this. Duh. Right. So I wonder who, like, wrote that <laughs> headline that? as the star. Let's see the next one. <laughs> Where is Europe? I don't know. I feel like it's always, has it always been in the same spot? Like generally? Right? I think so. And that was like in NBC. So it's, it's, and it's you, a whole continent. Right. And you really never really nowhere. know what it is that they're talking about. But just the headline in general, like if I popped on the TV and just happened to turn it on right there and that was the headline, I would just be like, I'm not it's still in the same spot stuff. that it was. Yep. <laughs> All right. We got a couple more. <laughs> A great day for kids. Right next to. Ruling releases sex offenders. Not probably a good probably parent. not the best day for kids. Right. So that is about layout. A little bit of separation. A little bit. Maybe put the other one on the other page. Page two. Right. <laughs> because having the two together doesn't really work out too well, right? And it reads like a sentence. Not okay. Not good. All no. right. I think we have one more <laughs> and then we're going to leave the randomness alone. Fire destroyed, destroyed by, by home. home. Did they mean? <laughs> was it supposed to be the other way around? Homed? And I think this is probably one of those moments that probably whoever was the board, you know, or trying to type it in real quick, you know, put it in there and just didn't even look. It's moving a little too fast. Yeah, a little bit too fast. Fire destroyed by home. Yeah. I want to live mm. in that house. Or, well, no, I want to. Yeah, yeah, because that means that's a pretty sturdy house. Right? I guess. I mean, if the that home would be put the out house the fire, to buy, that's a pretty good house. I to guess buy. we should move in. Yeah, that would be a, a really good investment, right? <laughs> yep. Well, that's all the randomness that we have for now. I hope you enjoyed if it a little bit. If you find any more randomness, please send it our way. <laughs> we enjoy that. That was just our Newsweek edition. So, but we're gonna have a really short break, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna wrap it up for the week. I'm making T-shirts. Cats aren't dogs. <laughs> Good Morgan things apparel. <laughs> More good things when we come back. Hey, everybody. It's been a really fun day here on Good Things, and uh, we had a really good time, although we miss our girl, but she'll be back. Yeah. Leia, come back to us. She's on the water today, and I'm so glad that the weather cleared She's up. on a yacht right now. Yeah. She is living life. Yeah, she's being... The queen yes. right now, yes. So, but you will see her back next week with us. Uh, yep. We'll be back right here at WLVS Radio live in the studio, and um, you know we'll have a lot going on. But before we are back next week, um, just a couple of things to remind you about. Uh, be sure to Facebook Live for our Facebook Live series. I 
postponed the normal one that I would have done yesterday. yesterday. Um, it's actually going to be on this evening, so 7 p.m. You can just hop on Facebook Live and or Facebook and, you know, either watch for the pop-up on uh, Great Good Things DC or watch for the pop-up if you're friends and family on my uh, personal page. But we'll have all of that there. And then, of course, we have our regular ones through the week. So yep. we have Leia on Monday evening. We have Britt on Wednesday evening, both at 7 hump p.m. Day? Yes, she's going to get you through the hump <laughs> day and get you me. through the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And uh, so we have that coming up. But we, um, yesterday... Uh, Leia was at the Vet Sports Gala, and yes. she said it went wonderful. I'm sure we'll see pictures hopefully yes. next week of that. Did and you see her makeup before yes. she went? Shout out to Juliet. You did an amazing yes. job. It looks so good. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And so we are very proud of her, yes. and uh, she did a fabulous job. And I know she has a little video, so hopefully we can get that next week of her speaking. Yeah. yeah so we can show her doing her thing. But we also have coming up next week... Um, Women in Power this Expo, one. yes, right here in D.C., and it's going to be Saturday, May 26th. There it you starts. Are. Yeah, I'm there. And actually, um, something really fun. So I am going to be speaking on the um, uh, Women in Steam panel that will be in the afternoon around three. But um, I've also been asked to basically um, co the main stage now She's so gonna i be an mc yes i'm gonna be an mc on the main stage and i'll be on the main stage right after autria uh who is a news correspondent with uh, abc Yay. so uh off autria godfrey so i'll uh she'll be taking the first part of the day and um the owner and well founder of uh, of wex um was so gracious enough to ask me um to to step in so i was very excited to do so so come out and come see us there's so many things to do if you haven't gotten your tickets yet for wex dc please do so and you can find those tickets at women in power expo um dot com slash dc tickets and um you can find those there and there are still i i think there are some select vip tickets still available i know there's general admission still available um i do think maybe the social ticket which actually gets you entrance into the VIP sold out. yeah I think those might be sold out but I do think there's still some VIP tickets I could be wrong but go ahead and check and uh, it's a wonderful day it's all about women empowerment um, we've got some great keynote speakers there's over 50 speakers and uh, more than 11 breakout panels for the day and um, it's a lot of fun and you know what I think because um, because it is what we do here and yeah. we like to empower women. Um, this is what I would like to do. So if you are watching Good Things or you are a Facebook friend on Good Things DC, I would like to give away to the first six women who send us a message on Good Things DC on Facebook. The first six women to send a message to our Facebook page saying, I want in at WEX. I want in at WEX. I'm going to give you a free ticket. Whole day. All right. All right. So free ticket. I want in at WEX. W-E-X. Message that to us on Facebook on Good Things DC. And you got in. You know what? Keep an eye out on um, on my Wednesday edition of our yes. Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. I might just have a ticket I'm giving away myself Ooh. for WEX DC. Uh-oh. So stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. But... After that, coming up in June, we have Britt, who will be a featured speaker at I, I Manifest, Manifest Bliss. Bliss. I'm so, so, so excited yes, June 15th. about this. Yes, June 15th. We will be in the house. Friday. It's at the Tower Club in Tyson's. Yes. And it is a wonderful, wonderful, really transformative event, um, really unlike uh, anything that I've experienced in terms mm -hmm. of networking. It's just I think it's more so of like a soul cleansing yes. experience. Yeah. And uh, Mema, if you're watching, yes. I'm I'm so, I'm so excited to do this. And thank you again. She for was the just at the Library of Congress um, the other day yes. for the um, breast cancer event. Right? Yes. yes. So she founded Tiger Lily Foundation, yes. um, a, an organization that advocates for um, the prevention and the care of women who um, have experienced uh, breast cancer. Yeah. And so, but I had a dream last night. I've been so excited about this. I had a dream last night that I was on a boat with Bruce Van Horn, <laughs> who is one of the co-hosts yes, of yes. I Manifest Bliss. <laughs> 
So I just, it's on my mind. It's constantly. ready. She's ready. It I'm just ready. means that she's ready. So take a look at that as well. Um, are there still tickets um, for this event? There are limited tickets available. And so you can find the tickets at www.maymacarmo.com. And then if you scroll down to the I Manifest Bliss Experience, click on tickets. And it's there. And we'll put that there. on our Facebook as well and on our Twitter and Instagram so you guys can find that as well. Um, and so we'll load because there's a, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. And I think both of these things are really great things to just get your summer kicked off right, right? Yep. Yeah. So get that encouragement, that inspiration, network, um, and really feed your spirit and find yes. your purpose. Yes. Um, because it's important to live with purpose and to yeah. live on purpose purpose amen preach so that's what we need to do all right all right well cheers it's been another great day at good things and we hope you're going to have a great week yes yeah you absolutely will get out enjoy the weather yes have fun have fun have fun and always remember to love one another always be kind and, and do, do good, good things. things yay have a great week bye everybody